Okay, now talking specifically about a vertex, um, I know that some of the problems and things that you've been working on in the past, it's asked you to find a maximum or a minimum, and maybe it was like an application problem, something like um, producing the maximum number of lawn mowers or um, maximum revenue or something like that. And for those types of problems, it was really difficult to set your window on your calculator if you were using that uh, to help you find it. Because we were talking about numbers that were very large. Um, there is a very nice and easy way to find a vertex, which is just a max or min, when we're dealing with a quadratic. And that is this formula here. This formula says the vertex will equal negative b over 2a, comma, the f of negative b over 2a. Now, I realize that this just looks hideous, but if we take just a minute to try and figure out what it's saying, I think that it's going to look much better to us. Okay, is this true? The vertex is just a point. It's some x, comma, y. True? Okay, and we have learned, and after you know, getting into um, d deeper into algebra, that there is a fancier way to write y, and that fancier way to write y is f of x. Well, so we could say that the vertex is the point x comma, and then instead of y, we could call it f of x. That's all this is right here. This says that x will equal negative b over 2a. That's what we have here. Our x is our first part of the coordinate. The negative b over 2a is the first part of the coordinate. And then how do we go about finding y? Well, to find y, we just plug in x. Or another way, maybe a better way of saying it, is to evaluate the function for x. That's what f of x means. Well, look what we're doing here. Negative b over 2a is just a big fancy way of saying x. So the f of that is y. All of this makes it sound like it's very complicated, and it's really not. This negative b over 2a is the only thing that you really have to remember. If you can remember x equals negative b over 2a, then you can always find the y that goes with that just by plugging into the equation, the function, and finding the y value. We're going to practice that. 